So in this video we're going to create something something simple with the pops operators. For example, a sphere. And we're going to add a geometry. We're going to create the base for everything. Camera. A light. Render. Uh, sorry, it's render, no remap render. Uh, after the render, we need, uh, I'm going to put a RGB key and then I'm going to add a null, rename it to out one, and the render, I'm going to change the resolution. I'm going to use vertical, so it will be much better for you and for me to see this because I'm going to divide this screen, select panel. Yeah, it's not good, but don't worry. Go back to the project, change the resolution like a vertical. So you can see here, and I don't need this. So you can see the network clean and the visual to the right. So I'm going to create this. This is simple. And I think it's because when you, the first thing that uh, you create in a designer will be, I think, always a sphere or a torus, use noise, add color, material, the end. So we're going to do the same with pops to understand how you can apply things and how you can add things. So we have this sphere and because we're going to use, um, in this case, we're going to use a PVR material. I'm going to add the PVR. So we're going to prepare everything. And always for the PVR, because it's too dark, we need an environment light. And we add a noise. I don't know, and I'm going to put this map, rename it, and the environment map, we drag and drop the environment map. And for the noise, I'm going to change the per period to five. Done, simple. So we have this sphere, and what we can do, simple, add a noise. And if I want to like change amplitude, you can see we are breaking the shape. Why is that? Because we need to go to the output and we need to change this combination. For us, will be translated along normals. Much better. It's like the noise when we create uh, with the sub operators. So I'm going to, for example, will be noise. It's more like that. Obviously, the quality is not the best because with the sphere, we need to add more information. Or we can transform these two. I think it's a grid. Yeah, and we have, again, the quadrilla, the same. This is a match. This is a grid with that. And we have the rows and columns if you want. Okay, so it's the same. Depends on what you're going to create is maybe the option. But for me, it will be this geodic uh, frequency 30. And with the noise again here, we can maybe amplitude would be four. Yeah, big one. This will be two. And we can add a transform and a scale this. So in here, we can go to the noise, go to transform. And this the difference is this, when you use, um, for example, a noise here, you need to see the difference. Here immediately is 3D, here is 4D. Okay, so the cool thing, we disable immediately this translate 4D here in the parameter, so you can see here. So here we add the uh, ABS time, that seconds multiply 0 0.1. So we have that. And you can think about this like, okay, now we can explain that this is metallic, the roughness is not good, but it's like something happened with this shape. It's like mm, the light is not applied in the right way. What is happening? 
you need to think right now this is fear we have two attributes uh, in vertex we have position normal and the texture right now when we apply the noise we apply the noise we take the position and we change the position so right now the normals they have the, the position of the sphere or of the shape of the sphere, not like this noise. So what we need to do is say, okay, don't worry. We need to move that normals to the same position of these points that we modified with the noise. So we have normal. And when we do that, it's like we take P and now we release N. And right now, you can see the light, it's much better. And right now, it's like, oh, okay, we can apply it. Metallic, non metallic, everything. So, this is much better. And the pass, for example, for apply color, what we can do is here create a noise, a top noise, create a null, and then add, it will be color. And we add this to the base call and we have this and enable color. But right now we have another options and we have, yeah, we have many, many options. Um, option one will be, for example, what happened if we add a noise here and the output right now will be color. So what do we do? We can put our color RGB be a specific so we don't have the problem here. So I can show you delete that color. We have this warning. So it's, don't worry, P RGB. Because color will be RGBA for blood or for it, um, numbers that we need to fill. And position is just X, Y, and C. So it will be three and color will be four. So it's like, mm, you missed something, please send me the information. So it's like, okay, don't worry, just apply the color to RGB. Alpha, don't worry. So we have this. Um, another thing that we can do with color, with use maybe a look texture. We drag this top color and we here in the output uh, attribute we can uh, write color and we add color so it's like mm, i don't like that it's like mm, it's not me no, it's not the same i try to change maybe frequency 10 i don't like it um and you remember when we apply for example when we create a sub here we create a sphere and we add the texture sorry the material and sometimes we use the texture because it's like how the, the, this noise in this scale, this color is going to apply to the shape. So for that, we need to add a, a texture, texture map. Okay. So what I'm going to do is when we create this, it's like how we're going to apply this color. We go into here, I'm going to delete, we have information. I'm going to put, I want text X and I want text Y. Much better. So right now I can go to here and change how is this apply to our element. And what else we can do? Maybe I can animate this noise. Will be ABS time, let's say can multiply zero that one. And we animate this. And from here, obviously, you can change this. You want more reflection. Yeah, I want a lot. We can add rotation. Maybe we can start rotating. That will be ABS time. That seconds multiply minus 10. More? Yeah, more. 35. I'm going to copy all of this 
to all the rotation. Maybe this will be 20, this will be 15. And we have that. And I'm going to change the scale. So I think it's moving too fast. So right now, with just this sphere, we apply color, we modify the position of all of these points, we control the texture, we control the normal, because without normal is that. It's nice too, just in case you can work with non-normals or really with normals and with the normals you can control how the light and shadows work in this shape. Um, we can try it. What happened? Sorry, no, the 20 grid is the same. Maybe it's the, um, this is like maybe polygon. So we have that. Maybe we can put more. And with the noise here, we can change how we want to move this. Huh. I like this one. More fluffy. Ooh, maybe too much. Okay, so we have this, and it's just, it's important to understand how you are applying the normals, how you have this texture, and you send, it's like we have the position, and we send this text, and we take that text for the lookup uh, texture, and we apply it to from the color and we send color or we apply it's like we take something we change it and we send it it's like in the forming and then out um yes it's not a complex thing and and then obviously here you can add all the effects you have if you want uh, the cool thing but uh, about the new version is understand the the tools that i create so they didn't broke it uh, so it's nice. Um, we paint there, and then I like the. Maybe we can try the feedback, the glow now, the focus ingrained, green, 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 green here. Simple things. So the idea is to show you what I, is how we create things. Um, I know it's not the best beauty thing ever, but. It's like now you can create things in a different way. Maybe it's the feedback you go first. Let me see. Mm, I prefer maybe add the feedback. Hmm. Maybe change the scale. Yeah, I prefer that. I don't know. Base thing and then always that I love a lot. RGB delay. Adding this like weird effect. Change a little bit. Maybe if you want, we, you can add bloom. Not too much. But yeah, the idea is this. Try to understand that now you can create things with pops. You can add noise. And you're working all the time with points. So if you modify one point, for example, at the beginning, we modify the position. But not the normal with non normals, like the light is not the right, we need to modify it, the normals or with the texture or with the color. So, yeah, this is just an introduction about pops. And 
see you in the next video. In the next video, we, we're going to start talking more about pops, how we can take something and transform a lot of attributes, a lot of things. But I think the first thing will be create just a sphere, add noise and see what happened and not destroy nothing. <laughs> the, the, okay, so um, I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Bye.